Hmm. Well, it's not a sin in general, but it may be a sin for you. And before I expand on my answer, let me begin by explaining what I mean by body modification. This is simply the intentional alteration of the human body for non-medical purposes. I should also make clear that I am addressing extreme modifications like scarification and implanting, you know, like breast and bum implants, and not simple modifications like body piercings and tattoos. Now to expand on my answer. In Romans 14, Paul, in addressing the secondary issue of whether all Christians were required to follow specific dietary requirements of the Old Covenant, concluded in both verses 14 and 20 that we are not required. That seems clear enough, right? Yet, in verse 23, he goes on to say, if you genuinely didn't think his position was scriptural and then went on to break that old covenant rule, you will be sinning because you disobeyed what you believe God commanded. Clear enough? You see, scripture doesn't teach objectively that body modification is sinful. It just doesn't. And yet, it will be sinful for some of us to have them done when you really believe the Bible teaches otherwise. Then, there's the question of your motivation for doing it. And there are legitimate cultural and identification and aesthetic reasons for having them done. But, for some of us, because your motivation for doing it is that you find ultimate identity in your appearance, that will make you flat out wrong. For others, it is wrong because your medical condition means you will be pushing the boundaries of your safety just so you can express yourself or get the approval of others. Please don't do it for these reasons. And finally, while the Bible in 1 Corinthians 13 to 14 warns us against submitting to bodily desires in a way that disobeyed God's commandment, it roots that warning in the fact that God cares more about our bodies than we ever can. How do we know this? Because He ultimately plans on carrying out the best body modification surgery on all those who follow Jesus. It's called the resurrection. And our resurrection bodies will never decay, fall sick, nor will ever die. What guarantees this will happen? Well, he's already carried that out on Jesus. So rather than engage in body modification in violation of your conscience or for the wrong motives, why don't you wait on God's timing? I promise you, you won't regret it. <laughs>